It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Tuesday, the 10th of January. I'm James Spam. Alabama's weather warming up. Maybe a little rain at times tonight or tomorrow, but the big issues more than likely will stay west and north of the state in the short term. Let's check it out. Water vapor satellite view, big storm across the Great Lakes, trailing cold front down to the south. A uh, few showers near the front over Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, North Mississippi, and we might catch a shower uh, tonight or tomorrow, but again, the better dynamic forcing stays well to the north. That's the visible satellite view this afternoon, much of the state now with a cloudy sky. The sky will stay mostly cloudy through much of midweek, not much sun. And yes, indeed, we are warmer today. Tuscaloosa 61, Anniston 60, Birmingham 57. Around the region, warming up nicely through much of the southern states. Look at Shreveport 77, Tulsa at 70. And a pretty good chance we'll see highs around 70 uh, later this week. In fact, uh, low to mid-70s are likely here by Friday. And around the nation, got a pretty sharp thermal gradient up north with the storm system coming through the Great Lakes. Very cold air up around uh, the Canadian border in the northeastern states. But generally speaking, the eastern states will be noticeably warmer in the days ahead. There's the watch warning map. Wind advisories for parts of the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama, much of North Mississippi and points north of counties in Brown. Up north, winter weather advisories around the Great Lakes, parts of the northeast, and also winter storm warnings for parts of the western states, a blizzard warning for the Sierra Nevadas, and flash flood watches and warnings for parts of California. Very unsettled weather with a very strong Pacific jet stream slamming in there. Severe weather outlook, a marginal risk of severe storms this afternoon and tonight for parts of Illinois and Indiana. And also for parts of northern California, but no severe weather expected here anytime soon. This is the rain for the next seven days, valid through Tuesday evening of next week. Bigger numbers, Texas and Oklahoma, and points north of the state. And Alabama amounts will vary greatly from uh, over one inch for the Tennessee Valley down to not much at all for the southeastern tip of the state. But model fans, here we go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 12 noon. Zonal flow down below that, a stalled surface boundary north of the state. Uh, the day will be cloudy and mild, maybe a few scattered showers, nothing especially heavy or widespread. And I say the high will be in the upper 60s in most spots. <clears throat> Thursday, same thing, maybe a shower for North Alabama. Most places will stay dry. Uh, a day with more clouds than sun, and the high will be at or just over 70. Friday, the upper ridge begins to strengthen. It's a battleground. you got a cold 1048 high over Wisconsin, the warm upper ridge here. But I think for us, the ridge wins the battle. Low to mid-70s. In fact, the GFS showing 74 on Friday with a mix of sun and clouds. Rain to the north and maybe some freezing rain on the northern periphery of that. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. Very mild. Uh, the GFS showing 73. Again, we think the day will be dry with a mix of sun and clouds. And again, uh, the chance of some freezing rain on the northern flank of that rain mass. Parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, over to Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Could be some nasty icing there. And Sunday, a new storm forms over New Mexico. Now, we're dry, very mild. Again, low 70s are likely, but if that's right, that could be a nasty icing event for much of the state of Kansas on Sunday. Monday, that begins to lift out as surface lows over Missouri with a trailing front. We're still dry, but on Tuesday of next week, a week from today, the 17th, the short wave north of the state, surface low north of the state, and that's suggesting some rain. Not as aggressive as other runs, but uh, that would certainly be a, a decent chance of at least a few showers on Tuesday of next week. This is the end of the forecast period, Friday of next week, the 20th. I uh, got uh, wave action west of the state. That looks pretty wet if this verifies and maybe even stormy. But we'll see. That could change again. Very mild, as you can see. Highs uh, around 70, really late this week, over the weekend through Monday. And evidence of a, a change to noticeably cooler air in about 15 days as the pattern starts to change again. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or on television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.